okay so welcome back to this course in our previous video we have created our first product and saved that in our database and now in this video i want to create a cedar file that basically push all these nine products in the product.json in the database to save some time because i want to have some dummy data in my database to test out the api okay so rather than adding all these products one by one we can simply create a script a cedar that help us to do that in just one second all right so i simply go to my backend folder and create a new folder called utils so in the utils folder i'm going to create a new file that is called cedar.js so in the cedar first of all i want to add uh, import the product so require from dollar slash uh, models slash the product then i also want to import here dot env because we have to connect to our database also so require dot env and also we have to import the connect database from require dot, dot slash config slash the database all right and after that i simply type here also i have to basically import the products that i want to push so products equals to require that is in dot dot slash data slash products like this one okay so first of all i'm setting the setting dot env file so that is dot env dot config pass in the path so path is going to be backend slash config slash config dot env then i want to connect database so connect oops After connecting to database, I will simply type here function that is called seed products that is going to be a sync function. And I simply type here a try catch block here. If there is some error, we will catch that in the catch block. So simply type here console.log the error dot message and also i want to exit from this process so simply type here process dot exit to exit out from the terminal or from this process all right and now also i want to call this function when i run this file so seed products so what i have to do first of all i have to delete all the products in the database then i have to insert all the products in this file simple is that so I simply type here await product dot delete many so delete many will delete all the products or basically delete the complete collection okay after deleting that i will simply type here console dot log products are deleted and then after deleting that i also have to uh, insert them so await product dot insert many in that i will simply pass here the products that we have just imported here uh, this one okay so this one uh, what is this okay and then also i will simply console dot log here all products are added like this okay and after adding it i have to simply exit from the process again so process dot exit like this okay so this is done and now we have to basically run this file so to do that i will simply go to my package.json and i simply add here a script after this prod that is cedar so when I type when I type npm run cedar, I want to seed all the products. 
so simply type here node backend slash utils slash cedar.js so when i type here npm run cedar i want to run this cedar.js file that basically call this function uh, seed products and this will delete all the products then it will add all the products simply as that so we save the package.json file so if i go to my mongodb compass you can see that if i refresh it i only have one product that we have added in our previous video so press ctrl c to exit from the terminal i simply type here npm run cedar press enter and we have some error here so let me see that first of all so cannot find module dot dot data slash products oh sorry that is product i can simply rename it so that is products so now if i run it again so you can see that products are deleted and oops product validation failed category please select category for this product i think so we are missing some category we have here here um Uh, if you go to my uh, models product category i think so there is some let me check that so first of all we have the ele electronics um oh that is laptops if you can see that here uh, in the data file we have here only laptops or laptop uh, you can see that it is laptops save it and also save this one all right so now if i press it again and pin on cedar so now you can see that all products are deleted and now they are added if i go back to my database and click on refresh you can see that now we have uh, the nine uh, you can see that we have nine products in it all right so it is working properly so now in my next video you can see that now we have added all the products in the database now i want to display all these products uh, in here in the products controller right here all right so i will do that in my next video in which i'm going to display all the products in the database